Welcome everybody to another video of Ancient Greece Reloaded. Today we will talk about the famous Harpies, the dreadful winged messengers of hate. By the way, if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so to stay tuned for upcoming videos. This winged spirit, whose name literally means that which snatches, are known for their proclivity for stealing food. In fact, Zeus used them to punish a king called Pineus by trapping him on an island with a bunch of food and a large group of Harpies. Phineus was constantly tortured by a buffet he could never eat because it always got stolen away. King Phineus of Thrace was given the gift of prophecy by Zeus. Angry that Phineus gave away the god's secret plan, Zeus punished him by blinding him and putting him on an island with a buffet of food, which he could never eat because the Harpies always arrived to steal the food out of his hands before he could satisfy his hunger and befouled the remains of his food. This continued until the arrival of Jason and the Argonauts. The Voreats, sons of Voreas, the North Wind, who also could fly, succeeded in driving off the Harpies, but without killing any of them, following a request from Iris, who promised that Phineus would not be bothered by the Harpies again. The dogs of Great Zeus returned to the cave in Minoan Crete. Thankful for the help, Phineus told the Argonauts how to pass the Simbliades. In this form, there were agents of punishment who abducted people and tortured them on the way to Tartarus. They were vicious, cruel, and violent. They lived on the islands of the Stone Fathers. They were usually seen as the personifications of the destructive nature of wind. The Harpies in this tradition now thought of as three sisters instead of the two original Hesiod's two Harpies are named Aelo, Storm Swift, and Okipete, the Swift Wing. Virgil aided Kelaeno, the Dark, as a third, Homer knew of a harpy named Podargli, Fleetfoot. Aeneas encountered harpies on the Stofathers as they repeatedly made off with the feast the Trojans were setting. Kelaeno utters a prophecy. The Trojans will be so hungry they will eat their tables before they reach the end of their journey. The Trojans fled in fear. Harpies remained vivid in the Middle Ages. In his Inferno, Dante envisages the tortured wood infested with harpies, where the suicides have their punishment in the Seventh Ring of Hell. Here, the repelled harpies make their nests, who drove the Trojans from their strophathers with dire announcements of the coming woe. They have broad wings with razor-sharp talons and a human neck and face, clawed feet and swollen, feathered bellies they call. Their lamentations in the eerie trees. William Blake was inspired by Dante's description in his pencil, ink and watercolor, the wood of the self-murderers, the harpies and the suicides. Let us finish with the following saying. Focus on the essence of a thing, whether it be through actions or motives or appearances. Marcus Aurelius. That being said, remember guys to hit the like button and to subscribe to our channel, it would help us a lot. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for upcoming videos.